An Introduction to Thesis Statements A thesis statement is usually one or two sentences in length, explaining the key ideas or claims that your entire paper is working to demonstrate or better explain. As discussed in our lesson on essay structure, the thesis statement is normally located as the last sentence or sentences of the introductory paragraph. The thesis statement is detailed and specific. It requires substantial thought and development before you start actually writing the paper. Beware of the oversimplified three-part thesis formula. A good thesis should not simply be a list of three general words or phrases related to your topic. Rather, a good thesis contains a clear set of ideas. The thesis itself conveys meaningful ideas. Your entire paper should be structured towards proving or demonstrating the ideas indicated within the thesis statement. Therefore, you should not have any elements in the paper that are unrelated to the specific points being made. Each major topic sentence within your paper should clearly tie back to an idea indicated in the thesis statement. This shows that your ideas align and that you've clearly developed your argument before the act of writing the paper itself. A thesis statement is not merely a statement of fact or somebody else's opinion. Rather, it is the original insight that you have developed about the issue based on the knowledge you've gained through research or your own logical consideration of the topic. While this needs to be your original set of ideas, it does not have to be something that nobody else in the world could have ever considered. When we say original, we merely mean that these are your thoughts and words, not that, not that other people haven't developed similar perspectives. Mistakes to avoid. A thesis statement needs to avoid the mistake of overgeneralizing or merely rephrasing the writing prompt. This ultimately says nothing of substance. For example, there were many things that caused World War II. This is too overly general. A thesis statement is not a purpose statement or a statement of organization. It should not be a list. So this would be an example of a bad thesis. In this paper, I will discuss the causes and effects of World War II. That's merely a purpose statement. Do not use phrases that refer to in this paper or in this essay or anything similar. Do not use first person, I. Remember, generally avoid referring to yourself in an essay unless the writing prompt asks you to discuss yourself or your experiences. We're now going to look at a number of example thesis statements and determine whether they are good or not. There are numerous causes and even more effects of American foreign policy. This is not a quality thesis statement because it provides no specific insights on the topic. Instead, it merely rephrases the writing prompt that the student was likely given. What are the causes and or effects of American foreign policy? A good thesis would develop a set of answers to that question. Another example. Motivated by a willingness to impose its ideology on other countries and assist those in need, American foreign policy influences other countries in financial, social, and cultural ways that are beyond their original intent. This is a strong thesis statement. There are at least three key ideas conveyed here. Motivated by a willingness to impose its ideology on other countries indicates one potential cause of American foreign policy. To assist those in need discusses another cause. The rest of the sentence indicates three effects, financial, social, and cultural ways that are beyond their original intent. 
These effects might be more fully explained if a second sentence of the thesis was developed. So we can see the value here in potentially developing a two-sentence two thesis statement. Another example. The AIDS crisis in Africa is very serious and does not get enough of the world's attention. This is not a good thesis because it merely conveys general facts. It lacks insights on the topic. Why does this crisis receive little of the world's attention? A strong thesis would seek to answer that question. Here's another example. The AIDS crisis in Africa remains ignored by many Americans due to remnants of racist attitudes about the continent, religious-based bigotry towards those with AIDS, and a widespread perception of the area as unimportant to American economic security. This is a specific and detailed thesis in which the writer provides their analysis in regards to the major question being considered. It's arguable. In itself, the thesis is interesting. When looking at this, it is easy to see at least three key elements that could then be developed as their own topic sentences within the body paragraphs. Another example. For the last year, the economy has been in recession. This is not a thesis statement at all. It is merely a statement of fact. Remember, a statement of fact cannot be the thesis. There are numerous causes and many unknown effects of the current recession. Again, this is not a thesis statement, as it merely repeats a cause and effect writing prompt. To develop a good thesis, this writer would need to answer this question. What are the causes and effects of this recession? That question needs to be addressed in an effective thesis on this topic. Here's another example. The economic instability of the last four years has been caused by changes in national fiscal policy, less public investment and job creation, and shifting investment trends within both large and small businesses. This is a strong thesis, as the writer clearly conveys key insights they have developed regarding the cause of the recession. Note that a good analysis often looks at either causes or effects. Sometimes it's too scattered to try to look at both causes and effects in the same essay. Another example. This paper will discuss the complex history of the American family-owned farm and why it has declined in the last 50 years. This is not a thesis statement at all. This is merely a purpose statement, which one might develop in the writing process, but should not be part of the actual paper itself. The thesis shouldn't merely state the paper's general purpose, but rather should state the key claims or arguments being made. In other words, this thesis should try to analyze why the family-owned farm has declined in the last 50 years. It should try to answer that question. 